Hey guys, I'm Samantha from Mixie Pixie 7 and this is Lainey from 4 Happy Hippos. Hey! Today we're going to teach you how to be the best pen pal ever. Writing letters is a dying art, but it doesn't have to be. It's lots of fun and a great way to keep in touch with faraway friends. Or even next door neighbors. True! So we've broken it down into three simple steps. But remember, in pen pal writing, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. So feel free to embellish these tips to suit your style. Make sure you stick around to the very end of this video for a creative challenge. Oh yeah! Well, let's hop into it. Wait a second! First you've got to find a pen pal. Oh, oh there he is, there he is! Bob, Bob, wait! Will you be my pen pal? Oh. And this is why we put the verb in the middle of the word. Can I um, use hand horn? Can we be pen pals? Oh man. Celeste, Celeste, this has been the longest week of my life. I've been desperate to find a pen pal, but everyone's too busy. Will you please be my pen pal? Well, of course, but we kind of live in the same house, so it's not really the same thing, you know? Well, who else is there to write? Oh, Celeste! Huzzah! At long last! I have found my pen pal! Step one. Once you know who you're writing to, what do you write about? Here's where the three W's come in. What was, what is, and what if. These are some super fun conversation starters that add a pop of pizzazz to any letter. What's great about the three W's is you can ask your pen pal and answer them yourself. What's something you had for lunch today? I had pizza. What's your favorite song right now? I've been loving Wallpaper by Kevin MacLeod. And what if you had a plane ticket to come visit? Once you have your loquacious letter, it's time to mail it! Not quite. Next, we have to address the envelope. This is where it gets really fun. And this is where we introduce the three S's. Style, stamps, and sans. As in comic sans, as in fonts. Think of it this way. Your envelope is your canvas, so be creative. And remember, the outside can be just as fun as the inside. Once your letter is addressed, it's time to mail it! Mmm, still not quite. Before we send this letter on its way, there's one more step which leads us to the three F's. Food things, fashion things, and friend things. Letters are great by themselves, but a surprise can brighten anyone's day. Send along something small such as a stick of gum or a tea bag. Or a chocolate bar. Won't that melt? Uh, you could send a friendship bracelet or a Polaroid to show them what you've been up to. Glow-in-the-dark stars are a fave. Once you have your letter written and ready to mail, do just that. Next, we enter into the wait process. We acknowledge and appreciate it takes time. Waiting for your pen pal to write back is half the fun. Sometimes it comes when you least expect it, but need it the most. <laughs> yes! <gasps> wow, this is heavy! What is in here? <gasps> Samantha! Surprise! <laughs> I love it! Let's make brownies! Okay. <laughs> and that's it! Pen pal writing is an absolute blast. It's a great way to make new friends and connect with old ones. Yeah, and make sure you tag us on Instagram with your best envelope art. We'd love to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy pen paling.